Hello everybody, today we're going to be troubleshooting RDP issues for virtual machines in the Azure cloud. So I've got two virtual machines here running Linux and I can't seem to RDP into them. I hit connect, I go to RDP, I download the RDP file, open it up, connect. And after a few moments we get this error message and there's a few reasons why this might be happening. We're going to get into the first one. And then if that doesn't work for you, don't worry, we'll keep going into more and more different ways to fix it. So the first way is go under networking. And as we see, this virtual machine is attached to a network interface. And this network interface is part of a security group called Anvil NSG that I just made up. And as you can see, this network security group already has RDP and SSH open. However, if you don't have either of these there, then you'll need to go ahead and click add inbound port rule. If you want to open RDP, you'll have to do 3389 or 22 for SSH. And you can also change the source to make sure that it's more secure, that only certain subnets can RDP or SSH into this. So you can block all the other ones to mitigate attacks. However, as you can see, I already have both of these here. And if you're wondering about this little warning caution sign, all that means is that our RDP port is open and exposed to the internet and it's a vulnerability to our security. However, since it's opened, how come I can't connect to it? That's where we're going to go a little bit deeper in how we're going to get into this. So when you first installed your virtual machine, it asked you to generate an SSH key gem. Or a key pair you might have that and I have it here on my desktop if you don't have it you can go and type in SSH keys look for the virtual machine that you want to connect to and here is a public key so now you can take this public key and put it into a notepad and save that or we can take this one that we already have open up putty gen then we can load an existing key file go to all files to detect the PEM file now we'll hit save private key I'll go ahead and save it to the desktop as BM1 now we'll open up putty and we're gonna go under SSH auth copy paste the Oh, sorry, go under browse and put in the directory path for the SSH private key. Now we can go under the virtual machine that we're trying to SSH into. We can copy paste the Azure user at the IP address, put it into session. And now we are in our virtual machine. So we're connected right now. Great. So why can't we RDP into it? Well, a lot of times Linux doesn't come with RDP already packaged on it. So all you do, luckily with Azure, there's a little guide on how to do this. And I'll run through this guide with you here in this tutorial. So we'll do can't connect, install and configure RDP to connect to a Linux VM. And there's a little guide we can go through here. So here it's showing that we should SSH into our VM. Great, we've already done that using PuTTY. Next, we can copy these bash commands. We'll go ahead and restart the service, set a local password, and I'm just going to do 123 at QWE. Do not use that for a production environment.
So now we should be able to go back here, download our RDP file, hit connect, and we are in. So now the password is 123 at QWE, and our username is going to be this one right here, Azure user. Azure user. Hit OK. And just like that, we are inside of our VM and everything works. So I hope that I provided some value today. Hope that I was able to fix your problem on getting into Azure VM with RDP. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much. Bye now.